Hey, this is Sebastian for the Metal Gods Meltdown, and I'm joined by... Hello, this is Chris from Hailstorm. How's it going, everybody? Love your latest album, No Grave But The Sea. How are you feeling now? Release date is nearly upon us. I'm so freaking excited. It comes out on, was it Friday? That's in one, two, three, three, three days, four days, three and a half days, two and a half days. Yes, and that's going to be amazing because it's so full of dumb songs and I can't wait for everyone to hear them. And yes, good things will happen. Of course. Is it a fair comment when I say this is possibly the best Airstorm album so far? I would, um, I would accept that. I would be inclined to completely agree with you. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, yeah, we I mean we're very proud of it. I think it's just we've refined our songwriting into this most ridiculous, dumbest, catchiest, epicest thing we can do, and it's great. I think it is the best one. I hope everyone else agrees. I love the actual Airstorm video. Would you be taking the mini Airstorm on tour with you? Wouldn't that be amazing to have like a bunch of like little guys, a support band, doing I don't know what miming or you know, whatever it is they do. <laughs> um, but yeah, that'd be great, but I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. I was a bit worried about the donkey in the Mexico video. Can you assure us no donkeys were hurt during the filming? The, the donkey had a great time. He, um, he was a he was a nice donkey. Um, that was the first time in my life I've ever ridden a donkey, and my my butt cheeks were in agony for like a week afterwards. It's, it's not a very comfortable animal. I think I think I was harmed in making that movie. The donkey wasn't. <laughs> and I need to know, have you ever been fucked with an anchor yourself? Um, I mean, yeah, that's the kind of thing I do on a, on a nightly basis, is I just get a fucking anchor and lube it up and just <laughs> read my own butthole with it. It's, it turns me on to no end. I want that song at my funeral, man. I love it. <laughs> it's brilliant. It, it, it's going to be everyone's favourite, I think. I think so. So, who in the world of so-called celebrities would you like to fuck with an anchor? Jesus! What kind of questions are these, mate? Um, <laughs> do you mean, like, passionately or violently? Uh, violently, I think we'll go for. I mean, I, I love everyone too much. I'm, there's no one I dislike, especially not enough to, to stick an anchor up there, but I mean, I'm, too, I'm too nice for that. I think we're nice people. <laughs> and you've got the wrong impression of us. We're, we're, we're not actually pirate. Just... A bunch of pleasant guys who like making salt.
peg leg potion yeah. re- reminds me of the pirate bar in Belgium. It's a must visit and it's full of dodgy potions. Have you ever been to Dubry? No, I don't think I have. I like it. Um, I've been to Belgium a bunch of times, but I, I try to stay away from pirate bars because they, they remind me too much of uh, being at work, and it's just the worst thing. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm scared of pirates. Fair enough. Man the pumps. Is it full of double meanings, or is that just me and my dirty mind, and I've been watching too many carry-on films? You're a disgusting man. <laughs> That's just a historical song about being on a, a sinking ship. <laughs> In the days of my ancestors, <laughs> right. else would be shocking and absurd. Absolutely. Shocking and absurd. I'm shocked. It's obviously going to be so hard to choose a set list. How many tracks from the new album do you hope to include? Uh, I mean, for now, like, uh, after the album comes out, definite songs are going to be Mexico, Ailstorm, and, of course, Fuck With An Anchor. And then, you know, as this time progresses, we start, like, that's for the summer, doing short sets. But if we get some big, uh, big headline shows later on, it's going to be... Oh, well, yeah, we'll add a couple more. I think the aim is to play five songs live. From this album on our next tour, it's like half the album, which is fair enough. Because you know, people want to hear the old songs too. It's for some reason people like those ones as well. So it's uh, yeah, it's a bit of everything. Cool. It'll be a nice, a nice balanced set. It's going to be, I think. I've seen some comments on social media saying that this could be the last L Storm album. Is this true? Why I don't know why people say that. We just you know, I'm going to keep writing albums until I get you know until I die of album 
album aids or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. People are dumb. They don't want really to get an idea from us. We're going to keep going forever and ever. You're not going to get rid of us. You're stuck with us. Brilliant. So do you actually ever read the album reviews or don't you care really what the armchair pundits say? I, I, read, I, I read all of them. I actually spend most of my days these days searching Google for no grave but the sea reviews and like searching all the weird obscure blogs and finding shit and ugh. occasionally they get it right but like yeah see I don't mind if someone doesn't like the album but when they don't like it for a reason that's not true or if they like it for a reason that's not true it's it really annoys me I just you know it's I don't know what but I read everything and I don't care if you like it or dislike it just you know don't be wrong can you tell us what are your plans for tour and festival wise for 2017 oh we're doing everything um this summer we've got Download Festival in the UK, then Hellfest and Grass Pop and some others. Then, um, then we piss off to America for the whole summer to do the Vans Warp Tour with a bunch of pop punk bands, which is going to be insane. That's like something like twenty thousand kids there a day in in the blazing heat watching us play for thirty minutes, which will be fun. Then um, we're going to go back to Europe do a few more festivals. Then we're doing a huge European tour. Then we're doing a huge South American tour. Then we might sleep for a couple of days, and then we'll probably do some more festivals, and then it'll be next year, and then uh, probably UK tour then, and Australia, Japan, Asia, everywhere. We're gonna just see the whole fucking world over the next eighteen months. That's the plan. been the wildest thing you've done in the name of pirate metal the wildest thing we did was uh, one night in a hotel room myself uh a keyboard player elliot and our guitar player matty we just took off all our clothes and started pissing on each other in the middle of the hotel room that was pretty uh that was pretty pirate metal i think that's that was us reenacting the uh the battle of waterloo i think <laughs> very, very good historical battle there that we were involved. Yeah, just pissing on each other in a hotel room. You have toured the world. Do you have a favourite country to play? I mean, I always love playing America because it's the best place in the world. But, I mean, New Zealand's fun because it's really far away and silly. I think it's just, you know, because it's the furthest away you can get from the UK. And you're like, holy fuck, even here people like us. What is going on in the world? Who are you people? Why are you here? Yeah, play New Zealand or America. If you hadn't been a professional musician, what do you think you would have ended up doing for work? Well, I was like, I was in the middle of a master's degree for math, mathematics, and then I dropped out to go on tour. So if I hadn't dropped out, I'd probably have done that. And then I was probably going to work for the um, the Atomic Weapons Commission, whatever it's called, down in somewhere in Reading or something. I was going to probably make nuclear bombs. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? That would be scary to think of, actually. <laughs> Instead of making songs with pirates and making bombs, that'd be great. But yeah, uh, never mind. Good God. <laughs> I think we're done with our lives. That's scary. If you were trapped on a desert island for a year, what four items would you take with you? Ooh, God, that's good. I like my hat. I've got a nice blue baseball cap. I want to take that with me. Keep the sun on the eyes. Um, ooh, goodness. Ooh, banana bread. A big loaf of banana bread. Eat that all day. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of things I like. Comfy chair and, uh, and a margarita. Comfy chair, margarita, hat, and banana bread. In a hundred years' time, would you, what would you like Elstorm to be remembered for? Oh, God. It's terrifying. I haven't thought that far. I'd just like to be remembered. That'd be nice. Uh, I, I have this horrible fear of, um, you know, one of these days we're going to play our biggest show ever and it's going to be downhill from there. And that's going to be the, um, you know, it happens with so many bands, like your bands used to be big and then you watch them decline. And like that just sounds like it's really depressing. And I'm not looking forward to that day. So maybe that if that doesn't happen, that'll be good. And can you tell me why we should buy No Grave But The Sea? I mean, I wouldn't buy it personally. I don't <laughs> I don't own many music collections. Uh, I mean, if you like little plastic boxes with shiny discs in them, it's quite nice. The, uh, the album artwork looks nice and it's, it's printed on matte paper. It's quite pretty. Um, <laughs> If, if you like owning CDs, go for it. I, I wouldn't buy it. I don't think you should buy it either. Don't buy it. Steal it. Download it. I don't care. Mexico or cowed and beef? Ooh, cowed and beef every time. <laughs> Rum or matey? Uh, well, as in the bubble bath. Yeah. Matey, matey bubble bath every time. You know, it's, you know, you've got, got to stay clean. Cat nine tails or being fucked by an anchor? Ooh. 
That's your vile. Uh, I'll go with the Edgar. Pirates of the Caribbean or EastEnders? Oh, it's like, I think you've picked my two least favourite things <laughs> in the whole fucking world there. Can I just kill myself instead? Donald Trump or Blackbeard? Oh, Donald Trump every time. He's my man. <laughs> Do you have any final words for your fans and our listeners? Uh, I want to tell everyone to eat recycled pork. Ahoy, this is Chris from Ale Storm, and you're listening to the Metal 